so guys this is our second day in dolomites and we are going to hike to lake sorapis so guys this is the starting point of our hike to lago de sorapis and this is the parking spot which is near to the bnb hotel there are basically two paths one is the easiest way to go to the lake which is through this way and the second is when you will be crossing this hotel bnb hotel this is the second way which is a little bit technical path where you have to do some scrambling this is the hotel at tre crossy where we got the free wifi yeah where we got the free wifi to open our kumut app and get the hiking map So while walking towards the peak on the back side you can see this view spectacular view and that is where is the hotel from where we started and you can see how beautiful the view is all the way you have red markings on the way on the trees and rocks and you arrive at a point where you have this boat here you can see we have the marking for lago de sorapis This here is an interesting path you can see we have to walk all the way and those are loose soil that we have and small rocks Hey guys so the path that we followed this was very steep with loose rocks and very slippery it was an amazing experience you must try this there are some paths which are risky but if you are confident enough then you can do it easily so i would suggest taking this path because the view around is amazing from here starts the t4 section of the hike as you can see you also have the rope tied so it is quite comfortable for you to hold the rope and walk confidently
So after climbing through the path where you had exposure on the left hand side, uh, a valley and then a rope tied, you arrive to the peak and from there the view is really awesome. You must enjoy that and I have taken some video and a time lapse there, should watch it. So after that it's complete descending that we will be doing. Here you can see that uh, for the Serapis Lake, it's 215 route, but we came through 216, which was a bit technical. So this is the path we came in, and this is the way towards the lake. And at this joint point, you can see this is the path we will be descending, which is the easiest way to hike to the lake. So after a four hour hike, we are at Sarapis Lake and you can see this looks so amazing. The color of the lake is fantastic. And the peak behind, that's something which is amazing. We are gonna fly drone here. So let's see how the shots are. So finally after six and a half hour of hike we are back to the place where we parked our car there you can see it and yeah it was very beautiful hike t4 section was amazing and the view from there of all the peaks was really crazy so it was approximately 13 kilometer of hike with an elevation gain of 750 meters and it was really very beautiful hike i suggest that if you are in dolomites do not miss this hike <laughs> 